Good evening, humans. Transformers Moth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the Jurassic World Hammond Collection Triceratops figure from Mattel. This has been a super fun line overall, and uh, just been a joy to have all these dinosaurs. And this one in particular is one that when I saw the pictures, I knew I absolutely had to have it. Uh, and yeah, just some good stuff. Definitely a couple of shortcomings, but uh, we'll talk about that. So uh, let's get right into it. Let's do this. Aesthetically speaking, the Triceratops looks absolutely fabulous. And as I had said, once I saw pictures of this floating around online, I just like absolutely had to have it. When I started collecting Hammond Collection, I was like, okay, I'm gonna get, you know, obviously the key players, uh, definitely stuff that totally calls to me, but I didn't think I was gonna be all in. And this is one of those cases where just like, Okay, I keep going. <laughs> See, seeing the Triceratops name come up, I was like, okay, yeah, cool, expected. But seeing it uh, in photos and now certainly in real life, like just, yeah, absolutely love it. Uh, they completely captured the look of the Triceratops from the first Jurassic Park movie. Um, one, the first thing that really caught me was that they just absolutely nailed the coloring on the Triceratops. It's like the perfect shade of brown, um, and yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say beyond that. I mean, it, they've even got the highlights correct and uh, all the texturing, just it looks beautiful and uh, absolutely commendable all around. The only thing I guess I would critique with a paint is just that, you know, kind of the gray bluish splotches are a little, little bright, but the, the kind of highlights on the T-Rex were bright as well. So, you know, hard to translate that into plastic and, uh, you know, it's still like, it does not detract at all, that's for sure. And one of the things, one of my favorite parts with the paint is actually the, the horns. I mean, really great details there. The way they did the aging and the cracking with the kind of like bone color over the brown just really like pops, pops out. It looks fantastic. And uh, yeah, I just could not be happier with that. And you know, proportions are absolutely right. I mean, this, this is, a great looking triceratops and uh yeah i don't know what else there is to say that's aesthetics articulation here is very solid uh however this is where a couple of those uh shortcomings i mentioned earlier come in nothing nothing like breaking or anything like that just you know some things that would have elevated it so uh getting into it let's move dr grant for a moment and uh starting with the front we got the head we are in a ball joint of some sort but and we've got some really good range all around uh, so as you can see, you got some nice side to side. We got some up. I look up really, really well. Look down decently, uh, kind of just past the midline, um, but nothing, nothing too serious. Uh, and you know, one of the shortcomings being that you know they, they did not articulate the mouth. I think this might be one of the first figures in the line that doesn't have the articulated mouth, which is a little sad because I I think that would have definitely helped with this. And uh, yeah, but it is what it is. We come to the kind of shoulders, front legs, and uh, come out about that much. We then have our swivel, and we come back about that far, come forward really far, pretty much almost all the way, or pretty much all the way up. Then we come to the first joint and single jointed. So we're coming to about there. We'll do about there, we can straighten out. Then the foot can straighten about one click and come forward a couple clicks. Then the back legs, you can rotate back about that far, rotate forward, just past neutral. Um, in terms of coming out, uh, not exactly doing splits, uh, as you can see, or kind of see so from the back. So you come out about that far. Again, like so, some of the hips in this line haven't been the greatest, uh, but again, with just plastic real estate being what it is, um, you know, you're not gonna get too much. Then we come down to the knee and get about that much. Can fully straighten out the back feet. Come to about there. And you can actually come up a little bit further with those back feet. Then finally we get to the tail. Ball joint, the first section. So we're coming down that far, up that far. We do have our side to side. Just come over there, come over there. Then we have our last, last section of tail, pardon me. And uh, that is also on a ball joint and we're coming all the way around. Uh, not quite as much range, but we need to come about that far. Down about that far, it actually just comes back to neutral. I don't think there's a bendy wire in there. There's nothing really indicating it, and uh, it doesn't really feel that way. So that'll be what it is, and that's articulation. 
Getting into size comparisons, here they are with some other Hammond Collection dinosaurs. With some Hammond Collection humans. With some Hasbro. With some imports. With some monsters. Finally, with our Articulated Icons Oni and yours truly in human form as an Articulated Icons Ninja. So my final thoughts on the Hammond Collection Triceratops figure is that it's another fun and solid entry into the Hammond Collection line. Um, you know, it's visually it hits all the right notes. I think the only thing that really could have elevated this is a couple points of articulation, mainly just the like an articulated jaw and a diaphragm joint, which I forgot to mention earlier. <laughs> but uh, you know, I, I think those two things would definitely take this to the next level. But as it is absolutely solid uh looks great is fantastic for the shelf and honestly if you want to have a pack of triceratops this is the way to do it uh, certainly at this price point so that being said i will have links in the description below to where you can pick up yours if you are interested so definitely check that out if you out if that is the case and uh, with that being said i hope you found this review informative and somewhat entertaining if you did please consider liking commenting subscribing and or sharing if you want to take it to the next level and help me even more, there'll be ways listed at the bottom of that description as well. So please, please, please check those out. And with all that being said, I hope you take care of yourself, take care of those around you, and most importantly, stay weird, Simeons.